While Henry's deadly ambush was able to halt the advance of the invaders for a time, the enemy did not wait long before resuming their attack on our cities. With their position becoming more and more dire with each passing hour, the Allfather weighed his options and decided it best to swear fealty to House Gredori. This is Arch Coordinator Aether, hailing the Allfather of Hugin. We are pleased to hear you have the wisdom to accept our offer. As you listen to this message, defensive shielding equipment is being distributed amongst your warriors. This new level of protection should see their effectiveness on the battlefield almost doubled. We have also prepared contracts with some of the most ruthless mercenaries willing to participate in your fight. The equipment and additional soldiers should allow you to fight your enemy on more equal footing, but while their warship remains in orbit above your world, there is no hope for victory. While even your most powerful weapon would be useless against it, House Gridori can provide the materials and schematics to increase such a weapon's destructive yield almost tenfold. You must rush to secure one of these weapons before your foe is able to seize them all. There is no other hope for victory, all father. Make haste. What's up, everybody? I'm Kevin. And I'm Sergey, and, and we are the Tabletop, Tabletop Warlords. Warlords. And once again, we find ourselves playing a game of Beyond the Gates of Antares. In today's episode, don't make a big deal out of it. Today, we're continuing with the Michael Crow campaign. And if you don't know what we're talking about, go ahead and click this link right up here. It'll bring you to uh, either the primer or the first episode, whatever you want to watch first. Perhaps both. We tallied your votes, and it was a pretty resounding victory for the Ostmen siding with the forces of the Freeborn. Uh, so we're going to see a lot of mercenaries and cool stuff on the table today. As per the story, this week's episode will be called Nuclear Necessity! An adventure in the atomic age! And here we have our epic battlefield for today. We have seen the Ostman City with the enemy at the gates. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff going on here, but the most important part of nuclear necessity is the nuke itself. So within this HQ building, at the, the bottom most floor, the Ostman scientists are uh, hard at work at, I don't know, making this, I guess, safe to carry uh and this is going to be the kind of objective tracker for the game now uh this nuke is going to travel every turn one floor so it's going to start by going to the second floor then it will go to the third floor and then it will end at the topmost floor once it has reached the top on turn four it is going to be free and clear to be transmitted or picked up by a helicopter however henry's getting this thing out of here uh it's going to be uh, able to do so at that point and on the note of Henry, let's take a look at his forces. So Henry himself is obviously right here at the top of the HQ building. Where else, right, would the Vaga commander find himself? The sniper team is going to be positioned on the third floor of the exact same uh, building. Now, in these forward little dugout positions, we have a single Osman squad, six man strong, no special weapons. And then the rest of the forces are going to be aligned on the wall, defending against the Concord advance. So we're going to have two squads of Varger warriors on this side, each armed with an RPG launcher. Uh, we also have our medic team uh, backing them up. This tower has been destroyed by whatever. And then on the other side of the gate, occupying the still intact tower is going to be a light machine gun team. That's two light machine gun teams with an officer and a handgun. And then on the opposite side, terrible camera angle, Kevin, uh, is the last Ostman squad, also Varger, also with an RPG. Now, coming up on the front of the gate is going to be the Concord's main push. Inside this T7 transport that has been upgraded to have machine intelligence resides a strike marshal. It's gonna be, uh, fully tricked out command squad, basically, with uh, med kits and all this good stuff. Uh, also gun drones, making him very deadly, as well as a normal strike squad. And then we have another normal strike squad right off to the flank uh, on foot. And then the most dangerous thing on the field right now is the M404 Pulsar drone. Now this combat drone is armed with a compressor cannon rather than a plasma cannon, so it's even meaner than normal. The scenario is going to be made even more complicated because that's not all the forces. On turn two, on either long edge of the table, any of their choosing, there's going to be uh, our secondary Concord force, which is gonna consist of two drop squads 
as well as two combat drones. Now, the mercenaries backing up the Ostman will also be arriving on the second turn. Those are going to, however, be transmatted in, so they can basically appear kinda anywhere they want. And it's gonna be a T7 transport with Ashkar warriors within, and two squads of Vardinari with the, what I call, classic squad number, which is six man each. Uh, those are going to appear and fight. Now, the point of the scenario, as far as victory points are concerned, the Ostmen start with one victory point per living squad of their Ostmen-specific units. Now, anytime the Concord are able to kill one of these units, they basically steal a victory point from the Ostmen player. So that is gonna be the only way the Concord can win is basically by destroying four or more Ostman like specific squads. So this is gonna be a battle against time and a battle to survive. Let's get everything out on the table, get the dice in the bag and get this thing going. In addition, in order to spice it up a little bit, we've added a rule called Dragon Slayers. If the Varga Warriors are capable of destroying either of the two Concord vehicles, they will receive two points per vehicle. Will they be able to do it? Eh, we'll see, but it gives them a shot. Going to turn one, the Ospen have a single dice advantage at eight dice, and the Concord are with seven. Let's do this thing. Turn one, dice one, and it's gonna be the Concord. For my first turn, I'm just gonna get this job done. So I'm gonna be moving five inches forward with an advance with my M404 Pulsar combat drone. Sorry, I have to use the like, full name. I didn't even know the full name <laughs> before you just said it twice. <laughs> I will, of course, be assaulting this gate. Uh, we didn't say it in the opening, but this thing has 15 hit points, but it is a large target, meaning it has plus one to hit. My accuracy is six natively, so I'm hitting on sevens. My compression cannon is the yellow dice. Plasma light's the rest. Plasma light misses with the 10, can't re-roll that. Everything else hits, sorry. And so that means I do eight damage plus six damage. So that so, is... No, it has one hit point right left, right? I believe so. Yep. <laughs> Concord again. I'm gonna basically be copying that move, uh, advancing forward, but since I know the gate only has one health left, and it's only turn one, I'm going to instead fire everything I got into that weapons team. This poor weapons team is definitely going to go down because that is a withering amount of firepower. So that's gonna be a compression com uh, car or cannon hitting on uh, fives or lower because of the minus one to hit someone in a building. And then my uh, rapid fire plasma uh, light support is gonna hit on, let's see here, that would be fours. Wah! Ah, so fade. Oh no, I think I actually go down from that. <laughs> but uh, this, I can't reroll as well, okay. but I do get two So you have ones. to reroll one of them. And I still hit. Still so okay. two hits with plasma light support. Your res is up by three. So your native res is now five with your reflex armor that you've been given uh, by the uh, uh, freeboard. Free board. I'll be at fives to save. The lucky is going to be on the leader, yeah. according to Kevin. Oh, goodness. Yes. Okay, leader reroll. Okay, the oh, leader's going to That's okay. actually, actually almost worse, in my opinion, is losing one of the guns. Yep, so they are. Minus one gun, and they get a pin. Whoop. Ospin. I have just learned a lesson. I can't fight <laughs> <laughs> these guys at all. Uh, I'm going to run the f*** away. I'm getting <laughs> all the way out of here. I'm going to be a coward. Uh, it takes me five inches to get to here, and then I'm just gonna go 10 inches right over to these space barrels. So you're sprinting. Sprinting, it's a horrible position because I'm going to have um, drop troops on me immediately, but it's just, I think it's the best I can do. I do need to roll this for check. And I'm good. Concord. I shall now take my strike squad on foot to do an advance order. I must see how well they traverse the terrain, which they do fine. So I'm going to just keep within the cover, but move five inches forward. Now, I'm going to be shooting all of my plasma carbines in to that uh, pillbox to try to kill that team, and then my lance is gonna shoot at the gate. 
So the gate's plus one is gonna negate the negative one. So everybody's just hitting on fives. Blah. Okay, so can't re-roll tens. Can I, I can re-roll -roll a nine. Uh, but I can't <laughs> re-roll a 10. Oh my God, what is wrong with my luck? So um, these both hit. Okay. Wow, better. Uh, <laughs> so they still hit and one's a lucky. So I'm just gonna stack them both on the leader. Oh, okay. Oof. Uh, what's your strike value? Uh, so my strike value is two. Your res is eight. So the six is good, the seven is not. And I'm good. Dang it. But you do get another pin, so, so you must take a save, away. but your leadership is full at seven. I'm good. The Concord. This gate is turning out to be a troublesome, it's like a garage door and I can't destroy it it's with a the garage advanced door weapons. Dwarven Mithril. I, I was about to say. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to obviously shoot all three shots into this thing. The uh, rapid fire is going to get canceled out by the plus one to hit for large targets. So I'm hitting three times on sixes. Can he do it? Can he die? Beat okay, yes. Barger right. Steel. So the gate has been destroyed. Oh, we really should have made a destroyed version. It falls inwards. Perfect. The Ostman, I'm oh, sorry, I could not remember who it was. <laughs> My strategy is a very simple one. It's run away all the time forever. Uh, so sprint check on them, they're fine. They're going to get to the base level of this building. Now, right here. every bit of movement in a building is different in version two. You actually just measure the movement, so. Once you get to the edge, you can go as far as your movement will allow. Exactly, and I, I pretty much, for all of them, get right up into the front of it here. My final position will be defending these front windows over here. Another Ospin. This is a risky maneuver. He has a very fortuitous down order, and I want to capitalize on it by placing pins on this unit and hopefully mitigating the amount of ridiculous monumental damage that it can do to me. Yes. Um, so I'm gonna shoot at them with this unit and hope to god what do you need to hit now i can put a pin on it um fours are you doing a fire order yes okay so fire order your accuracy is five down to four for the rapid fire back up to five so all the reds and the blues hit on five or lower so that hits and the black hits on five hits hits this is this was very good i was about to say <laughs> wowee for anybody who thinks that we're like fudging these numbers we're not i'm just this unlucky <laughs> And Sergey is this lucky. This is his army somehow. Listen, I just I know the right chickens that Rick Priestley loves. Yep. Okay. Free range. He likes it. He likes them free range. I uh, sacrifice just them just right. Roll all those, Sergey. The one that will be really bad is if I roll a ten on the black dice. Okay. But if I roll a ten anytime, it's not good. Oh, that's one ten. <laughs> so roll it again, and then we'll figure out what that means on the chart. So a five. So I believe that's uh, that's nothing because we'll it's minus five. Unfortunately, uh, you add five to a damage roll against a heavily armored target, which he was against that uh, shot, which is only strike value zero. So it resulted in a 10, which is no extra. You extra cannot damage. defeat me. Oh my God. <laughs> me, I mean Concord, both. I'm just gonna help this game to kind of move along and just run the full 10 inches up to the opening. This is gonna disqualify the models within from doing anything. So I just cede the rest of turn one to Sergey. The Varga Warriors have a claw full of dice. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, and for the first one, I'm going to repeat the order that I did last time and attempt to stack yet another pin on this downed unit, which would be fantastic. You got me to roll a single 10. I mean, shoot, if you do it a few more times, you might be able to jack up that vehicle. It's the same order as last time, so I'm looking for fives pretty much all the way around the board and great shooting once again. Wiggity wow. Boom. Once again, I just don't want to see tens. Oof. Oh, I'm so good. close. So but close. you do get the pin, which yep. is what I wanted. So two pins total this turn. We will not back down from this alien invasion. We will shoot directly into the dragon's mouth. So there's a lot going on with Henry's Hellhound unit. Um, there are three different weapons. Uh, the main body of the unit has accuracy six and they're shooting rapid fire. So they're gonna be sixes up to sevens, uh, down to fives for long range rapid fire. Henry, on the other hand, has a single shot weapon, but he's at extreme range. So he's sixes up to sevens, down to fives 
for extreme range. And then this poor guy only has accuracy four and he's firing a pistol. So he's uh, fives, uh, fours up to fives, minus two, minus one, so he's a twos. Riveting television. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I can get a few ones in here, I'm gonna be happy. All right, pretty good shooting. Are we gonna call that cocked? Sure. This was not nearly as good. <laughs> still quite a few hits though. It's still okay. I missed with the hand cannon, which I'm desperately sad about. Um, and they don't have a spotter or anything, do they? No, but you still get five hits from the Hellhounds. No, that hit. You're good. Oh, it did? Okay. And I have a Lucky. Uh, I think I'm going to take down uh, your uh, sp uh, spotter with my Lucky. Mm, okay. Just looking for tens. Oh, oh, you got one. Okay. Well, what so do you need to do? I need to get. You got to roll over five uh, or under, under five. Under five, five. yeah. Oh, oh so that's you, an extra pin. So it's two I pins. So. That's actually great. That's not bad at all. Rules as written, uh, to our knowledge, uh, because he was heavily armored and not taken away, specifically not taken away as a casualty, the shot from the pistol didn't cause a pin. So he should only receive one pin due to it being zero plus one as opposed to one plus one. Get wrecked. My medics are just gonna go on ambush because uh, there's really nothing for them to do right now. My sniper team, however, is going to do a firing order and shoot into this tank that is down and uh, just attempt, it. they can convert their stuff to lucky. So I wanna get rid of his spotter. They hit and kill the spotter. Yep. There are several units down, starting with my drone. It does not get up. Oh. I did the right thing. So I lose a pin and he's going to be mod one kind of for the next turn. This is my downed unit. Significantly less likely to get back up, but they do. And they lose I a pin. Oh. What is this crap? Even when backed into their den, the Varger show their teeth. They suffered a withering amount of fire in this tower, but returned it in kind, taking advantage of a Concord weapon malfunction. Where's your high technology now, C3? Going into turn two, the Osmonds still got eight. The Concord have one in the field, so they only get six, but their extra troops now show up, adding four and the mercenaries show up to help fight with the Ostmen for five more dice, meaning total, the Ostmen are now at their full 13 and the Concord have 10. At the beginning of the second turn, the nuclear dice, via weird timey-wimey traveling, <laughs> is able to teleport. I mean, via regular walking. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Regular old walking. <laughs> they have safely moved it to the second floor. Two guys carrying the nuke. <laughs> yeah, they're really buff. <laughs> Before the start of the turn, we also have a bit of a deployment. The mercenaries are finally showing up to help the Ostmen. Yes, coming in on this homing beacon, I will yes. place my transport with Ashgar warriors inside. These guys are going to adopt this position within this piece of cover. The first Vardanari squad. Yes, and then the second Vardanari squad is going to adopt uh, a position just behind this transport okay. as best as possible. This is my final position, ready to uh, accept the Concord with open arms. Turn two, time one, the Ostman. This unit right here, uh, my Varga warriors are going to turn the other cheek and run away again. Yeah. Uh, they're going to hop in these windows here. They do need a sprint check, which they fail, so they will get a pin. Okay, so they're in the building. Yes. Okay. Final position. The Ostmen are uh, definitely starting to fortify this building. This one dice will once again add to my cowardice. Uh, this unit uh, is still worth a victory point. So I'm going to run and uh, get into this uh, buddy buddy transport over here. I do need to, however. Oh, so you gotta do a leadership test, my a leadership friend. Test. They just jump from the top <laughs> onto it. Oh, oh, you going I down. I do not, okay. Well, actually, I mean, being down in a building is not the worst thing in the world for me. Good God. I'm reborn again. I honestly don't know what the best move to do here is, but I don't like being so active. I would prefer to be reactive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put both of these guys on ambush utilizing a follow order. Hurt. Hold my Vaga warriors, hold. C3. 
I would like to let loose the hounds of war, and to do so, I must enter the base. And before Sergey gets squirrely and decides to block me in, I'm gonna do it. So I have one pin. On roll My a ten. Strike you marshal. Piece of garbage. Roll a ten. Is inside. Oh, We're yeah. good. He had a leadership of ten, so I'm gonna lose my pin, and I'm going to float on in. Are you ambushing me? Uh, no, I don't think it's worth it at the moment. I'm gonna block that angle, all the Vardinari, and bring my drone in. Who are you shooting at? I'm gonna take all my shots at your poor little sniper team, because you can't go down. Okay, well, as a reaction to that, um, <laughs> oh, all because of you, you want to ambush Well, now? you can't, we just looked up the order of operations. I would yeah. declare after he declared his targets for shooting. So they're probably gonna die, so they're going to shoot into this tank, and he's also within 20 inches of me, so I might be able to destroy that tank with Henry and the sniper. So I'm gonna fire with all of them. So this guy is going, it's a fire order. So yes. this is gonna be your sniper rifle will hit on seven. And if you hit, you can convert it into a one. Mm -hmm. Henry's field, hand cannon is now only minus one for a long range. So he is uh, actually at sixes to hit. All the hellhounds with their rapid fire is now effective range. So they're gonna just be minus one. So they're gonna also hit on sixes because of the fire. And then even the medic who normally only hits on threes because he's accuracy four is now gonna go up to, uh, or just stay at yeah, four. Yeah. yeah. Now, rather than rolling the roads, as Michael Crow pointed out, we're gonna learn our lesson. <laughs> the gutters just eat dice. <laughs> it's just terrible. Once you get inside the city limits, you just can't be doing the dice uh, on the table. So obviously Henry waits for no man, so he's gonna go first. Yeah. Henry hits. Yes. Okay. Bullshit. That is exactly what I want. Oh my god, so you hit with like everything. Wow, man! I just can't stop hitting. Okay, so. Oh uh, wait, there's a seven right there. Well, the red oh, dice sorry. Seven for sure. So, uh. The blue dice, Henry has his big game hunting hand cannon, and so strike does actually three. strike value three, um, which is insane. So I'm gonna fail all of them on 10, but this one is the most important. Crap, I rolled two tens this time, yes. Sergey. So, two I charts and add one. five to whatever you roll. Oh, oh no come effect. on. Too advanced, so I do get a single pin. Now we get a sniper. Yep. Miss! Oh. <laughs> oh wait, the sniper's friend with the pistol can shoot too, right? No, because he helps oh, you spot, God. yeah. Damn it. I cannot be stopped, I'm impervious. Now for my turn. I'm looking for fours. Oh, that's one hit. Uh, I don't get any rerolls because he killed all my drones already. Does that unit have a leader? Yes, and his leader, or his, so you would be at fives, brought up to eight, eight minus back three down to, down to five. five. So, so you just go once. No, Boom. Ooh, so my I, leader is dead. I killed his buddy, but you still got the sniper. Uh, I have pins equal to people too. Uh, Let me consult the order. Well, it's, it's uh, Henry's leader. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I'm so good. you're good. Well, the officer is dead. Thankfully, Henry is right there, but it works sort of like a weapons team. Uh, I am at minus one accuracy because my leader, who is doing the spotting for me, is no longer there. Postman! My Varger medic team is going to sprint across the way into this building. They do need to do a sprint check, which they fail, but they should be able to get... Well, this, this is very connected here. With yeah, I use the magnetic wires. Uh, I apologize. They're cool looking. They're gonna uh, run into the burning building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's safe here. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. It just feels nice and warm. Yep. Okay. So they get about four inches in, because once again, it only takes them an inch extra movement to go down a floor. Yep. So. I will find these squishy targets. <laughs> I'm sure you will, but I want to make it as hard as possible. Postman again! All right. Uh, I mean, same order. I'm gonna run with them into this building. So obviously I need to do a sprint check, which I once again fail, uh, but I'm going to get right on here. Nestled behind this unit, we should actually have some more pins in there because both of these units are Yeah, you both need one pin. So you have run to the burning building to avoid the onslaught. Yes, safety and flame. It has to be. Okay, yes, it's the Concord. <laughs> now we can let loose the hounds of war. My strike marshal is issuing a follow order. So both these units are gonna be running out of the uh, transport. Um, my normal strike troop is going to run and sprint 
into these guys. I'm only sprinting because of the distance I have to clear. So I fail, so I'm gonna give myself a pin doing so. Yeah, but I'm down, so you're gonna kill me. Yeah, I say they're down. Before so. I can make an issue of this. <laughs> we'll see though, we'll see. That really does hurt having a pin. Yeah, very cinematic by the way, just like disgorging through yes. the broken gate. <laughs> but real quick, just to get it out of the way, my, my marshal is gonna do a sprint check as well, also failing, okay. which is not good. But, and now, well, he, I guess he's technically not starting on the road. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. So they're gonna get themselves all the way up here, traveling through the uh, tower. And there's a final position for the strike marshal. The strike troops only have one pin, so it's not too bad. They're gonna be hitting on fours uh, with their normal plasma guns, which I am going to use, uh, cause it's gonna be strike value two. Uh, so I'm gonna have five shots, re-rolling one miss. And I will fire back with, uh... Uh, can I, yeah, it's a light support, so I can uh, shoot three shots at strike value one, one, correct? Yeah, so you're just at minus two for doing so, so you're to threes to hit on that, yep. and then your normal guy has a pistol that'll hit on fours. Yeah, is it rapid fire? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, cool. Huzzah! Oh, hey. Okay, so bad shooting. I'm gonna reroll one. Nothing. So I only hit once, but I gotta reroll because he's down. And I do hit, so you're gonna get one pin. You must save on threes. I think my leader's alive, correct? Yep. Good. Ooh, you got a one. Oh, I did, nice. Um, this is a miss, this is a miss, this is a yes. miss. And I don't get a reroll, but the one is going to go on... Ooh, I guess, do you have a plasma lens? I do. May as well. So his res is six, brought up to nine for the building. So I'm fine. Now we move on to close combat. Now the Concord are obviously going to be using plasma grenades, but the leader is going to use the X-Sling. So uh, I'll be hitting on, oh, I charge, so I'll be hitting on sixes all across the board. Okay, a little bit better. So one hit compounds to be a strike value two, the uh, whatever it's called, generates three hits. So two hits, one of which I get to put anywhere I want. So, how are you gonna divvy it up, Sergey? Um, so I will, I'll take a, the two on the leader and the one on the regular guy. The zero on the regular Zero guy. on the regular so guy. So I will stack the zero on the regular yeah. guy. Okay, so I'm at fives, yep. uh, just fives. <laughs> Mega dead. Oh boy. Dead. Mega dead. Dead. Super okay. dead. And I do not get to strike back because I was down, so that's just a point for the conquest. Correct. They have destroyed a victory point to the Concord, and they're just gonna simply stay in their building because there's not much better places to be. Austin. I'll be performing an advance order with this T7. This is about as far as I can go. I would really love to shoot at these guys, but I just there's no way to get my gun in line with them. So I'm gonna plug some like wasted shots into this guy, and hopefully just maybe kill a batter field. Hey, you got one. Hey, That's I got all one. Needed. Uh, the four still misses though, because you needed. It? Yeah, because your accuracy is five, brought down to uh, twos from the battery yes, field. Yes, correct, fire. correct, correct. And I'll reroll it. Hey! Oh! So you, I still I'll, I'll destroy the batter and I'll put one on you. Uh, roll a dice for me as long as it's a ten. Okay, so, so I, I put a pin on you. Yep, and I destroy the batter. Concord! The drop troops have arrived. I'm coming in, having fought over on the wall is my assumption, with an advance order, because I can't charge right off the get. And I'm gonna basically just chuck fractal charges into this unit of Osman. Are you going down? Uh, yeah, 100%. Okay, so I'm gonna have five rolls, two hit on five. I get a re-roll one, but then I have to re-roll everything because he's going down, so. I'm sorry, Michael. You should be. I'm sorry to be. I'm the one who has to so, chase it. Nothing. Can't reroll. But they're not hazard. Well, hazard's hand. Hand, hand, yeah. yeah. All hit. Ugh. So, so two hit. Two hit. So you have to deal with two strike value three hits. Okay. You are res six because of being on top of the wall. So you're yeah, three. You want to roll it for me? Uh, I'm just gonna take on two regular guys. They are both dead as a doornail. Yes, they are. Ah, Osman! Alright, easy turn for me. I'm putting this tank on ambush. Yes! 
Okay, another and the last drop squad is going to show up in this turn, and they're gonna be doing a fiddly turn because I wanna hide from the T7. So they're gonna advance, go up to that slit window, and they're gonna try to slaughter this medic team right up front. He already's got one pin and he's not down. So and I'm gonna be- He survived last round and he killed the man. <laughs> he's a hardened warrior. So since he has plus three res, I'm gonna also chuck fractal grenades in at him. So. It'll be four, five shots again, but this time I'm hitting on four because I'm chucking at them inside of the building. Yep. Huzzah! So, ooh, way better this time. Uh, so I'm gonna re-roll one because I have a spot. And I get uh, it. Okay, I'm so, screwed. Yeah, so these compound, so the, the lucky is a big deal because you are going to get, or no, I don't know how the lucky works in this case. It doesn't matter. Oh, it does, because it compounds. So I'm gonna put three on one guy. So one of them becomes, yeah, okay. or no, never Wait, mind. Why no, would, no, yeah, why would yeah. I do that? Two strike, yeah. now you're six. Yeah. Stop, yeah. stop <laughs> talking, just accept your victory. <laughs> I think oh. he's, no, he's still dead, because his res is five up to eight minus, do, no. Wait, do fractal charges? No, 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 just minus three. You're right, so he's fine. So the first guy, or no, six, sorry. So his is eight minus six. So that, we're gonna six. cut and do the math. <laughs> That is a fail. He needs twos. I do get to reroll, and he doesn't. Magic. And then I'm just gonna roll this twice because I get to reroll. And no, okay. So, oh boy. So Yee. that's two points for Kevin now. Postman. This unit, being the uh, noted for bravery and selflessness, <laughs> selflessness that mercenaries are the the common <laughs> mercenary traits. Yeah, are going to charge this tank. Okay. Um, they are armed with plasma grenades. Yep. So the only thing that Kevin will get is a round of point blank shooting, uh, and I will get uh, essentially, you know, it'll end up with three rounds of yep. just plasma grenading it. Yep. Oof. That is terrible. Terrible roll. Terrible. Okay. The first grenading, not a success. Oh, okay. So I got three hits. I do have a spotter, right? No. So those grenades equal up to be strike value two. I can still fail in a 10, which I don't, and it does not give me a pin. But now I get to shoot back. I am at rapid fire and shooting in point blank. I'm only gonna hit, oh. Well, okay, so I missed twice. I have no drones. I just have one lucky. So I, I mean, really none of his guys are any different. So I'm just gonna take it on a normal duty roll. He's fine, but I do get a pin, which means we're tied, which is not good for me. Yeah. Well, sort of, it means you can't be immediately overran. <laughs> and once again, Curl in plasma. That's way better though, because it hits on sixes. Yeah, so, so you have be... four, so it's a strike value four. Yep. So now I do fail on a, on ten. a 10 still. Yep. <laughs> you Sorry. said that like it was so good. Uh oh. Eight. Yeah, so good. I'm good. So he gets one last chance because it's a follow on from the draw. Why? Oh, it is my wow. rolls. A strike value well, you two. Would, you would have hit on fives, but it's a strike value two. I'm fine with a one, oh, so, so that- So we break away. Yep, and then, so you did not, I was not defeated. It was a tie, yeah. So we'll see how that works. In a tie combat, you actually roll off to see who consolidates first. Uh, Kevin lost the roll, so he's being pushed of back course. a little bit. And I will move, I guess, into the fort more? Yeah. yeah. You'd be like moving, you could move off to the side. Yeah, I think I might do so. Oh, spin again! All right. I have a golden line of sight. Well, with most of my guys, I'm only going to be able to shoot with five of my Vardenari, but I'm going to attempt to protect those poor guys who are just getting destroyed yeah. in that building. <laughs> oh boy, my luck is sure run out. <laughs> so that's two hits. One of those two individuals is my leader, so I will take one on the leader, one on a regular guy. Um, oh, is it a lance? It is. So it's a lance and a regular guy. Their res is brought from seven down to fives. So I'm good on both for count, but I do receive a pin. Ah, Concord. This transport is actually gonna woo, advance right here, but then still remaining within 30 inches, gonna shoot at this sniper, because you know what? Yeah, he's gotta good. be done. <laughs> so Those I, points, those points are, are hemorrhaging out of me right now. I'm only hitting on fours and I get no rerolls. So, Damn. So I got two, okay. and I'm not down. Yeah, but you do have plus three to your res. I think you're dead. Yeah. Okay, double dead. Postman. I 
see a lot of Varger blood on the ground here. Uh, so the only thing that I can really do to mitigate this catastrophic loss that is creeping up on me here <laughs> is to spill some Concord oil. Yeah. I'm going to try to attempt a big game hunt here and get my two victory points, maybe getting a tie, maybe, probably not, <laughs> getting a tie by destroying this with my Ashgar Warriors. I assume you're uh, sprinting? I am sprinting. Uh, I'm not very good at destroying tanks, but I'm going to try. Uh, and yeah, I have a thousand cuts. Yeah, well, I have compression carbine, so it might be death by just compression cut here. Uh, so strike value three, so you're not heavily armored against these first five shots. And also, I go first because he is down currently. Um, wow, we. Yeah, that's really good shooting. You get yeah, a reroll. You get to reroll. Yeah. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's four strike value, three hits. You want to roll them for me, sir? Yeah, sure thing. I so still it's just only tense. fail and tense. Oh, no, you're But so I do give you a yeah. pin, so, and you're shooting back. Uh, at oh, my... what's your sprint test, by the way? Oh, sprint test. Thank you. I'm okay, good. you're good. So we didn't have to read re <laughs> all that. <laughs> that would have been annoying uh, as hell. So, okay, so I have a pin. Yeah, and, and shooting back, you have a, uh, or you're shooting in point blank with the plasma light support, which is minus one. You have two pins now because I just hit you, which is minus two. Yep. Uh, and you're rapid fire, so you're minus one. So, so you're hitting on twos. twos yeah, because you're sixes. Nope. I get nothing and you've destroyed my spotter already. I'm gonna go for Mag Lashes here because he already has two pins. So well, I'm gonna try seven. to yeah, I'm gonna try to death by a thousand cuts down here, um, missing just twice. So that's eight shots. Statistically, I'm pretty, cl yeah. I'm pretty close to being guaranteed to get a ten here, and I do. Yeah, I get one ten. So roll it and you add. Please, le less than five. Whoa! Oh, the best you could do. Let's see what it is. Kevin goes down with his remaining dice, and I do a D3. Oh, yes, three extra pins. So that puts him to five pins. So Sergey has definitely won with five. I don't test, though. So literally, he's going to be able to hit me again. And if he gets lucky enough, he might actually be able to take out that tank. Missing once. Twice for the eight. And twice for the eight, yep. So it's the exact same thing. Statistically, I should probably get a 10 in here. Oh, oh yeah. no time. Yeah, not this time around. Oh well. It was a worthwhile it was a worthwhile go of it. So we're gonna break apart and I'm definitely going first. I'm gonna move directly back five inches. And the final consolidation with me moving six inches back. I'm trying to hug that lip to avoid being shot to bits by these guys, but I don't think it's really gonna help that much. Concord. Now for the drones! My C3 support drone is going to come on. It is suspensored, so instead of six inches, I'm actually going to go seven. Normally it's two for the roads, but I'm just going to take one extra. The Osmen have gone from a very dominant <laughs> position in this war to a very yeah. not so dominant position. <laughs> so this drone, fire everything it's got into this. Six down to five for rapid fire. Okay. Uh, oh, are you going to ambush me? Yeah, I'm going to ambush you with that ambush. Uh, do you want to just roll it for me? Yeah. So you're going to hit on fours because you have worse accuracy. Oh my god. Wow. So you're one roll, hit. Your rolling has worked. Oh! All right. Three, three hits. hits. Okay. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> crap. Yeah, roll I'm only on right. fives. So that's a fail and two passes. So, God bless. Sorry, Michael. Like, <laughs> we were right. We didn't learn anything. So, a seven. That can't be good. Oof. He hit me right in the sensor array. I went down. It's gonna cause a D3 additional pin, so one. So I go down with two pins, which that's terrible news. It's pretty great for me. Don't mess with the mercenaries, apparently. <laughs> the mercenaries are doing all the work here. The Margaret's are really not doing great. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put my last unit on ambush. They're not really in a position to do anything, so. Mm. That means I have the last two dice in the bag. I will have my support drone come out in much the same way, but hopefully <laughs> well, he, yeah, he he's gonna do a lot better. better. So shooting these guys, once again, I hit on fives. So I miss with every shot. Well, hell yeah. Thanks, drones. Good God almighty. <laughs> My last unit is this squad right here. I'm just gonna do advance order. The train test fails. So I'm only gonna be able to move like here, which is a lame, lame thing. Lame thing. Can you get a line on me? I can shoot the first. I'm only gonna be able to kill three of them, but I can I can shoot at them. Yeah. Cool. Just using single shots for everybody uh, means I hit on fives. Oh my. Okay. I get one reroll from the spotter. 
misses. So uh, that is four saves. Your Good. saves is seven down to uh, five. And you wanna roll that for me? You got a leader. So you, oh, you lost two dudes. Oh no. But you do only get one pin. First down order is this poor drone right here. His leadership is six, so he fails. He's staying down and loses one pin. This Ostman unit up here has the last line of defense, so there's uh, seven full, so they're good, and they lose their pin. Uh, you have two down on yep. here. His leadership is on the first one, eight down to three. So no, but I do lose a pin. The second one is down to fours then. So I do pass, so I oh, lose no. another pin, and I get one oh, dice boy. back. Ostman blood stains the earth of Hugin. However, they are making a push to slay the great dragon of compression cannon. Uh, it's not working though. The Osmen are definitely in an incredibly negative position and it does not look like they're gonna pull it off, but they're gonna try. Going into turn three. Uh, the Osmen still have only three gone because they lost them, so they have 10 total. And the Concord have two in the field, leaving them nine in the bag. Beginning this turn, the scientists that are moving at a feverish pace have now brought- Not very feverish. Yeah. There's bombs going off everywhere. People are dying around them. They're like- Well, they're trying to move a nuke. It's probably heavy. I don't know the relative rate- like, Oh, I'm sure. Weight of a nuclear missile, but I'm sure it's a lot. So. The missile is now on the third floor, but they've just realized they need to get it up to that fourth floor before they can get that transmat signal. Turn three, dice one. Concord. Uh, so first turn, I've already kind of actually moved it. I was a little excited. My uh, strike marshal is actually gonna charge this four-man Osman squad, and this drop squad is gonna follow and actually go down here and run into this building and charge these guys who also have, well, they're full, but they have a pin. So I'm gonna try to take advantage of this position right now to get a whole bunch of victory points and yeah. hopefully just clinch a victory. My strike commander and the troops are gonna fire their single shot plasma carbines. They're all hitting on sixes because their accuracy is six. But, um, or wait, did I have a pin? I did have a pin. I need to do a command test. Oh yeah. I'm command nine or 10, but I need to roll a nine or lower. Okay, you're Just very kidding. much I'm good. like, let's yeah. do this thing, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I am hitting on sixes, and then since their accuracy is six, these two gun drones also get to go Ooh. on sixes. So that's a total of seven shots, strike value two, and I do have a single spotter, and I get a reroll, so let's see what happens. Bowden Sun's Veil uh, has, has, has left us. So I can't reroll that. Oh, Yvay, so six hits. It's all the exact same. Okay. You want me to roll it? Yeah, roll them rows. You have, um, I don't have a leader. Four guys. Yeah, you do have a leader. Okay. So you can take technically two of them on the leader. Yeah, we'll. So, and then we'll arrange it that way. So we'll say the uh, rocket launcher guy is the blue. Okay. And these guys are just normal. So you are you are failing on, uh, or you're getting six down to fours. So. Uh, uh, two of your normal, uh, oh, I should have, hold on a second. Yeah, so, uh, only one of your guys, normal guys dies. Okay. And then these save, the leader gets a reroll. So the leader and a normal guy die. Oof. Which means you have to take the command test, which you're fine, because of your special rule. So you have two individuals left to fire back. Or, I'm sorry, everybody gets to fire back, yeah, but you have two dead. guys left. Shooting back is guys have a rocket launcher, his commander, and these guys all have regular guns. He had no pins, so he's hitting on fours across the board. The blue dice hits on five. Oof, so the rocket launcher hits me, and then look at that! You hit two, so. And technically it's a lucky, so uh, one, two, I'll take the, uh, my, my strike micro is a badass, so he's gonna take the uh, strike value three. And then my other two guys will, or one guy will take the lucky egg. I assume. So Sergey's not gonna stack it, so we're just gonna take all these. Uh, my strike commander only passes on, it would be threes, I think? Just kidding, everybody's a regular dude. <laughs> and he, he's not that honorable. So I am good across the board. What? I'm sorry, one of those guys died because he only, he only passes on a three because of the rocket launcher, so I did lose a single guy. 
Okay, going into a very upsetting combat here. <laughs> I wow. have two guys, they're hitting on fives, and he has... Technically you could throw HE grenades if you wanted. Uh, what, what oh, don't it? do that, yeah, no, my, my blast armor goes up. Like yeah, that. yeah, kidding. I'm just punching you. I, I'm scrabbling at your face masks as you just beat me to death. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like punching you. <laughs> so I'm using plasma grenades, and since I charge, that means I hit on sixes. Uh, so I'll do that. So those fail epically, and that also fails. I don't get a reroll in close combat. So you must save on one of your guys. They are res five down to four. So he's dead. He's dead. So that's one more pin for you, but you do get two hits back in close combat with your fists. You hit both times. And so now I will take that on a leader and a regular guy. And the regular guy fails, but I have a med. And he's fine. I'm sorry, real quick, let me retcon. That guy that got shot to death, that can be reroll because of the med. Oh, oh he's fine. fine. Oh, so come on. One more grenade. He misses. So, oh, Jesus. Uh, I obviously pass, but you have that annoying rule yeah. that states that you don't take any losses from your... Oh, okay, so you're good. I finally died. You did. And so that, that, unit that puts Kevin into the lead. The only way he can possibly tie or win this game would be to destroy the tank right now. But it's looking... It's looking grim. Kevin's consolidation. He's just kind of moving right back into that near that yeah. tower, and then we go to Over the secondary here. slaughter. Slaughter now, number two. I have no pins, but you are inside. So now I'm only hitting on fours because I'm going to choose to chuck fractal grenades. Okay, cool, cool. In. The fractal grenades will cancel out your armor, so you'll just be at five as far as res. But all your guys get to shoot, so you're gonna have a rocket launcher hitting on fours and all your guys' rapid-fire guns hit on threes. Fractal charges! Well, that's terrible. Okay, so I get a reroll one. Nope, so I only had two hits, but that is strike value three, which your res is five. Yeah! Oh, Oof. Jesus. So I've killed two people <laughs> and given you a pin, which means you have two pins now. Oh, no. So you have your rocket launcher hits on four, everybody else hits on threes. All right, buddy, we're coming back at you. No, we are not. We're not coming back at you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. That was pretty bad, yeah. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> okay. I hit you twice. What are you going to do about it, huh? Are you going to take over my entire planet? Like well, an idiot? My res is actually only six. Oh, because okay. you, I don't get the benefit of your the building. Your yeah. building. But I do have a leader, so I will obviously. Okay, so the one, the normal guy is fine. The leader failed, and the leader is exactly fine. Oh man, <laughs> that would have sucked. Okay. So now going into close combat, I no longer want to use said fractal charges because I don't want to get myself killed. So three of my people are armed with X slings, and the two with the lances are not. So the excellent or the not excellent will be black dice but everything is going to hit on sixes because i charge so only one of the excellent hits the other two guys are just normal strike value zero hits so that generates three Ooh. so that is five strike value zero hits that you must absorb with your unit and you only have four guys left, I'm sorry. So that oh. actually means that two of them have to take two hits. Oh. No, only one of them has to take two hits. Or one of them has to take two hits, I'm sorry. So the leader can do it. leader will take two. Oh. 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 So two no. saves. Okay. No, that was fine. You didn't need to reroll. You're good. It was a seven. Um, oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, so... You just have three I lost hits. like, by a lot. Oh! Oh, oh wait, I got to strike back first. But yes, this but will, you're gonna lose yeah, real bad. I'm gonna lose real bad. Um, so how many guys do I have left? You have four guys four. to strike back. So, oh, okay. three hit. And that leader still... Damn. Okay. So, yeah. it was not meant to be. I'm gone, boys. Ooh, that's that's five victory points for the yeah, God Court Circuit. Yeah, that's two more. So <laughs> I now have what two victory points, and my only hope 
my only possible hope would be to destroy that vehicle, which still has a batter field and lost two pins. There's no way. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to call this one a, a an Osman concession. Now, you will still I wouldn't be able to stop that from getting to the top by the fourth turn. That's true. Yeah. So you're still gonna get the nuke away, but I think the Concord claims victory for today. No one can resist us! Beep 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 boop bop boop scoodoo! That's what robots say. <laughs> Though many of our warriors were slain that day, we were able to hold off the attackers to secure one of our Mjolnir pattern nuclear weapons. As soon as the task was done, technicians from House Gradori appeared and began assisting our scientists in the necessary modifications. Now that we possess the Hammer of Thor, loose me on this vile serpent that has wrapped itself around our world. Calm yourself, wolf warrior. The time is not yet at hand. The weapon will be made ready, but it cannot simply be launched from the surface. No, this weapon will have to be detonated within the very belly of the beast. We have detected an enemy transmat in one of your fallen cities. This gateway allows for instantaneous travel between the surface and the warship above, a fact that we will take advantage of. The first problem, however, will be getting to this city. Your forces could mount up and attempt to travel as fast as possible over land, but this will risk exposure. You could also utilize the extensive network of mining channels and caves which stretch between the two locations, but the enemy will have no qualms about going in after you. We will leave the decision up to you, Allfather, and I do not think we need to remind you to decide quickly. was a very fun matchup. I made some tactical choices that I kind of regret, particularly leaving the sniper out on the roof there. I think I could have maybe won that. I don't know. I mean, potentially. It was, I mean, it was obviously this was meant to represent how actually screwed the Osman are. You know what I mean? Yeah. In this conflict and how desperate the fight is. Mm -hmm. But I think it was a really fun matchup yeah i was like i was thinking tactically the entire time um i was choosing between being aggressive and being defensive which mm -hmm. is always a, a good choice to have to be making in a scenario to oh yeah fun. yeah well the cool thing about narrative scenarios are yeah. is that you know we've said this about a bunch of our reports is it's like that that first two turns a lot of times in a scenario could just be like you're just maneuvering and some of the scenarios you know that maneuvering i feel like is over overplayed because you don't really have all. You don't really want to be moving in a bunch of weird ways. Yeah, you're not gonna like fake out. Your opponent knows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like we don't have enough turns. The game's yeah. only six turns. You don't really have that bonus rounds of being able to just move around. Mm -hmm. So having everything kind of set in this way, you know, the forces were already really close to the wall. Everything appeared from the edges. It does make everything a lot more action packed, which is what you want to do in a narrative scenario. Because what we're doing is like really, like you said, kind of presenting a vibe. And this vibe was definitely, hey, the Ostman can, you know, definitely hurt the Concord if given opportunistic positions, but in yeah. an open battle, yeah, it's, it's, it's there's, there's, no, different, there's no yeah. chance. Yeah. So uh, it was really fun. I didn't expect myself to win so quickly. Um, yes, but either way, that was really cool. It was all it was all the the false crux of me going after yeah. that. I was like, Ooh, he malfunctioned. You I'm almost get him. got him. I almost got him. I almost got him. If you just would have rolled a little better in one instance, I would have yeah. been down one tank. But I think that it was just what it was. Yeah. So narratively speaking, since Sergey was unable to really, that means that you know the overarching war. A lot of going poorly. <laughs> I was yeah. just saying, I was I like, did, we lot. suffered a lot of casualties. Yep. <laughs> really, Henry is on the back foot, kind of trying to run with whatever resources he has to try to save the day. But they are like, like they were warned by other pan-human races. They just don't have the technology level to be able to resist the Concord on a, a war scale. So moving forward, just like you heard in the story, the options for you, the viewer, to vote on are. Should the Ostman travel over land, everybody jump into their vehicles. Road Warrior! Exactly, go Road Warrior with it and just say hell for leather because it is going to expose them to, you know, ships in orbit, drones flying overhead. 
Or should they go with the option of traveling between the dangerous and mysterious caverns and like, yes. you know, mine structures? A that, trip through the Underdark. Exactly, that connect the two gonna cities together. It's going to be a Hulk together. <laughs> I was like, there could be, there could be, mon uh, there's definitely going to be monsters in that route. We'll just be honest. Um, but yeah, so there's the two options for you guys to vote on to help continue the narrative. And in our secondary poll, you can vote on who has a better mustache. Obviously the, the answer, victor! The answer is Obviously me! Obviously the victor! <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed watching this episode as much as we enjoyed producing it for you, as always. And we would like to thank our amazing patrons that make it possible. Our commanders, Les Stevenson, Amelia, Nick Hobbs, Elizabeth Allen, and Will Connell. As well as our brave warlords, Knight Silver, and Michael Crow, the man who made all this possible. And as always, from the bottom of our hearts, with honor in our voices, we hail the Emperor himself, John Roberts. Long may you reign.